here we are i'm on my way from ivanhoe to nimaji uh i've just did a job in ivanhoe connected up a new site for some government um communications so we're now i'm about 87 k's from ivanhoe and i'm heading towards nimaji i'm going to try a new farm stay called well new for us anyway four corners near nimaji uh, i'm going to try that out tonight and then i've got a job to do Oh, about 70 k's out of Cobar tomorrow before I head home. So we just thought I'd try tonight. I'd try to do some like a crumb chicken wing with some seasonal vegetables. See what happens. Got all our herbs and spices, veggies, some chicken wings ready to go. So right. So I've got some corn flour breadcrumbs and just a few different types of herbs how I normally do it when we're out the bush we just get a ziplock bag I had the oven running uh, I had a pipe lunch today so I just, once I finished that I just turned it down let it run on about 65 degrees or so 70 degrees just to keep it warm so that when I pulled up this afternoon I wouldn't have to have like full heating up the oven's got a bit of warmth in it. So we've got some breadcrumbs. I'm only gonna do probably four wings. More than enough for me. More than enough for me. So just add your breadcrumbs. A little smidge of corn flour. In there as well. Got some, some garlic salt. You can add, obviously, whatever seasons you'd like. I'm just going to try a few different ones that we'd like the flavour of at home. So, paprika is usually a pretty staple in our most of our meals. So, use a smoked or a sweet paprika, whatever you'd like to do. And then I'm going to put. Well, this is the seasonal. And I'm going to put a little bit of chili flake in it tonight just to give it a little, little bit of warmth. So not too much. Just a, just a little bit. Right there. And then a tiny little bit of chicken stock. Just give it a nice little bit of seasoning. All right, that's generally enough for the, the blend. So just give that a mix up. All right, that's all mixed up. Then some chicken. That is so sharp. Look at that. Lost my finger open. Pause. Wacko. That's what happens when you get a new knife. Right. Might do that again. Patched up. Give that a wipe. New, uh, Fire Chef knife, super sharp. Okay, so take two. In your mix, one, two, three, four is going to do me tonight. What I normally do also is once I've I'll freeze this whatever's left of the breadcrumb mix and then just add to it the next time. So just give that a good roll through, really coat it right up. So 
looking pretty good there. Once they're all coated, like that, then we'll just get them out of that and put them in the oven. I'm gonna do a few veggies tonight as well. So I'll do potato, like I'll try and roast potato and carrot, and then I will, oh, I could get that one. Um, do some vegetables in a just like a, Maybe a bit of cheese and something on top later. Zip that back up again. Oh, it's windy out here. It's cold, it's only about 12 degrees, I think, today, so. With a breeze, which is not, not the nicest. Right, spud. Carrot. Beautiful. Potato, we'll do smallish pieces. Probably only need half a potato. Anyway, I'll cook the whole lot up. It'll be right. And then we'll do vegetables in the top. So let's grab the put a bit of paper towel on that just to stop any. Making paper. Not very organised today, am I? Anyway. Making paper. Ooh, plate's still got some warmth to it, which is good. Right, throw the veggies in because we want them to cook up. And then we'll put the other stuff on top. Might just give those a little sprinkle as well. Right, and then we'll get our chicken out. See, it's not nicely coated there. Put that in. Keep them sort of semi-flat if we can. Good. Looking sensational. Righto. And like I said, we just seal that back up. That can go in the freezer. And pull that out for the next one. Job's right. So here we are here. That'll be the crux of the meals tonight. And then we'll just do some vegetables up pretty quickly. It's gonna go in there. in there for the minute so that we don't lose our baking paper like we have done a couple of times in the past. So we're going to do just a few different veggies. It's only me so I'm not going to need heaps. I'm even going to do Brussels sprouts. Let's see how they go. A couple of Brussels sprouts, so just chop the thumb off them. Not adverse to, I know everyone doesn't didn't like them as a kid, but as I've got older, I haven't started to enjoy the 
a Brussels sprout or two. And then we'll throw in some broccoli. Alright, some broccoli. And last but not least, some cauliflower. So it's got a couple of florets of cauliflower. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Not even. That's our veggies. Nothing on them for now. Gonna put a bit of seasoning and flavour on them later on. Um, yeah, I'll do for now. So we've got here. We got the chicken in. So that'll roast up nicely. And then the vegetables should steam up, being on the top. Beautiful. I've got it sitting on. So just under 200. So that should take a couple of hours. It's just after four o'clock now. So I reckon sort of between 6.30 and seven o'clock, I should be having a feed at Four Corners Farm Stay. So I'll drop. Right. Badooba, we're on the Badooba Road. I've had a, took a little shortcut uh, that didn't go exactly to plan, but um, I'm here now, so I'll take it. Uh, just going to check on this chicken and flip it over and see how we're going. It, I think it's going to be okay. Ooh, it's looking good. All right, let's have a squeeze in here. Ooh, it's a bit stuck. But. That's what we're after. And one last one. Oh, that. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'll let that roll for a bit more. And then we'll, um, so that's an uh, hour and an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes. Um, I'll let that go for probably another hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll put some uh, cheese on the veggies, and then we'll be ready to go. Hopefully I'm almost somewhere to sleep for the night. Oh no, back onto the Kidman Way. Shortcut, sorted, not so short, but anyway, that's fine. So now we're just gonna do, I've turned the chicken, I've turned the chicken, so I'm just going to check the veggies, put a little bit of salt and pepper on them, a bit of cheese, and they are steamed beautiful. That looks bloody delicious. Put all that together like that. A little bit of Salt and pepper for flavour. We'll do a little I see they're coming. Oh, I don't. With the cheesy veggies. Why not? Back in there. Looking delish. Another half hour. Excuse me, Chewy. Another half hour and uh, should be right for tea. Beautiful. We're here at Four Corners. I quickly pulled into Nimiji to the pub. I reckon I deserved a beer after that shortcut today. So went and had a beverage at the pub. 
Uh, I've just pulled up, I haven't set up camp yet, but I am starving. So let's have a squeeze of dinner. Looks pretty good to me. And some veggies, beautiful. So let's serve up. Wings. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Take those crunchy potatoes. I'm pretty happy with that so far. We can go back in. Beautiful. Okay, some veggies. They do look also bloody delicious. Broccoli, mushrooms, zucchini. Oh, feet of a champion. Brussels sprout. Actual cheese. No point having it if we're not going to put it on there. Lovely. Righto. Put that back in. That can go. Just there, like thusly, and that's it. I am ecstatic. Dinner didn't even froth it up too much. Now comes the test. Let's have a look. What are we got here? We'll do a mushy first. The cheese. Spud. Nice. Let's try a bit of wing here. Mm. Well, there you have it. Crispy, homemade, seasoned crumbed chicken wings with steamed and roast veggies with cheese. Have a go yourself. If you've enjoyed this, let me know. Comment below, or if you've really enjoyed it, subscribe and let me know also. Thank you.